In a Tory leadership contest last summer, Rishi Sunak released a video to try to underline his Brexit credentials. In fact, it was a pretty naff video of a shredding machine. And in that machine, he was going to shred thousands of EU laws. And he pledged, if he was elected leader, he would review them all within 100 days. As it happens, Liz Truss won that leadership contest. She said she'd have them all reviewed by the end of 2023. And the result was the retained EU law bill. Jacob Rees-Mogg, the high priest of the Brexiteers in the Cabinet, took it enthusiastically through the Commons. It passed its common stages, but then hit trouble in the House of Lords, dominated by Remainers like Lord Patton. Remember him? I hate the friend. Former chairman of the BBC, former governor of Hong Kong, Ken Clark, an arch Remainer, Peter Hayne, a former Labour Europe minister. They all hijacked the bill to try to stop it. The other problem was, of course, the civil service, the blob, the Remainer blob. All they had to do was get out their highlighter pens and work out which laws they were going to get rid of. 4,000 of them. 1,400 of them so obscure they had to be dug out of the National Archive. Today, disaster. Kemi Badenoch, the business secretary, a Brexiteer, apparently has admitted the 4,000 laws won't be abolished, the deadline at the end of the year won't be reached, and if we're lucky, 600 laws will be abolished. 600, and she won't tell us which ones they are. So much for the bonfire of the Brexit laws, and what a kick in the face for Brexiteers. The Tories did pretty badly in those local elections last week in the Red Wall. I suspect if those elections had been held today, now we know what we know about the Brexit laws, they'd have done a lot worse. Whose fault? Ultimately, Rishi Sunak. He's the Prime Minister, he made the pledge, and he should have stood up to the House of Lords, and he should have stood up to the civil servants. And I think if Jacob Rees-Mogg was still in the Cabinet, we'd be doing an awful lot better. And what does this mean for Kemi Badenoch? Now, she did rather well in the Tory leadership contest last summer. Some people see she is a future Tory leader. Has she been hung out to dry by her Prime Minister, by her civil servants? A bit of both, I think. She was pretty unsure in the Commons today, talking about the humiliating climb down, which is what it is. Who do you think you're speaking to, Secretary of State? I think we need to understand each other. This has definitely damaged her prospects as a future Tory leader. It's also damaged Rishi Sunak in the eyes of many of his backbenchers. Many of them want to get Brexit done, and nothing was more emblematic of that than getting rid of some of these laws which we should never have had in the first place. And I can tell you, most of the 4,000 laws were never debated in the Commons. They went through on the nod. How is that democratic?